Okay, let's get this over with. I'm not in a very good mood. If you hear a buzz in the background, it's my computer. She is old, she's annoying, and won't let me work. I call her Karen. You know, if I'm going to pick somebody to be a character, I wouldn't pick myself. And that's talking as somebody who read and even wrote uh, stories. At most, I'd be like the death way friend that the main character has that at some point dies and it's like a boost for the character's journey. But that's it. I'm really trying to make this angle right, okay? Don't be a pain in my ass. I told you I'm not in a good mood. Anyway, to <laughs> today we're talking about characters that were inspired by real people. But we're not going to talk about biographies. So there's not gonna be like the catch me if you can, the theory of everything, no. We're just talking about people who inspired characters. Some of them are famous, some of them are really surprising. Like, did you know that Winnie the Pooh existed? So let's start with them. Him or her, I don't know, it, the bear. It. Winnie the Pooh is inspired by an actual real-life bear that lived in the London Zoo. And the name was actually Winnie Peck. The bear got into the zoo thanks to a veterinarian in so Harry Colbert. 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 It was one of the most famous animals in that zoo. And Christopher Robin visited the bear really frequently and named his teddy bear Winnie. He loved the bear. Inspired by his son's story, A. A. Milne wrote a story and published the book of Winnie the Pooh at 1926. You know, this is the soldier and Winnipeg. This one is a statue they made at the zoo. The, the, the bear was really famous. This is the cover of the book of A. A. Milne, and that's Winnie the Pooh. But I actually had a stuffed bear of Winnie the Pooh. It was my favorite thing ever until I had a dream that it came to life and was trying to kill me. Then I threw it away. <laughs> Alice from Alice in Wonderland, which is probably one of the most famous books ever made. The inspiration was Alice Little, a 10-year-old who was a daughter of a friend of Lewis Carroll, the author of the book. He was hanging out with his close friend and the three daughters, including Alice, and he made that fairy tale and told that story to them. And Alice liked so much of that fairy tale that she asked Carol to write it down for her. And then he couldn't resist because it's a 10 year old asking for it to do something to just do it if you have a soft heart. I don't think I've done that. I'll probably go, hey, yeah, sure, I will. But they don't. Yeah, I'm a bad person, so what? This is Alice Lidwell. And this is Disney's Atlas in Wonderland, the, the cartoon, and Alice in Wonderland, the movie. By the way, it's the third time that Johnny Depp appears in my videos. What the hell is going on? Pocahontas, you know that apparently Disney loves to create characters based on real people. Her name was actually Amonute or Amonute. She was actually the daughter of Powhatan, oh, Powhatan Lear. They lived in the region that is now Jamestown, Virginia. And she followed the fight between settlers and the Americans. And she actually saved John Smith from being killed. But it is not like the animation thing. She was only 12 or 13 at the time. She had no relationship with the man. She did marry another Brit when she was 17, but this story is just so interesting that I'm thinking about making and it happened with just the whole story of Amanute. Amanute. Or maybe an Origins fairy tale edition. I haven't decided yet. This is what I think is a painting of a drawing of her, that's what I found online, and the Disney version, which apparently is quite whitewashed and really inaccurate. But I haven't made my research on that yet. Zorro, which my mother is in love with. Zorro is actually based in the biography of Joaquin Murrieta. And the name was used in the movies with Antonio Banderas, which the character's last name is Murrieta. Murrieta was facing a lot of racism from white Americans, like what else is new? Which caused him to rebel against society. And then he became like a folk hero, a dashing and romantic figure. He swore to avenge the atrocities that was made to his family 
in, in the crimes against the Mexican, directing justice against them. I found a drawing of him, Joaquin Muriel. This is a comic or a book, I don't know quite yet what, which one came first, if it was the book or the movie, but I put the book first because it's usually like that. And that's The Legend of Zorro with Antonio Banderas and Catherine Zeta Jones, which by the way, what a woman, she's so pretty. I'm, I've been in the back of the picture on the side. Hey! Olivia Pope. And this one a lot of people knew. Which is a crisis management expert in the White House in Washington in the series Scandal. And she is baiting Judy Smith. And she was a former Bush administration aide. That's the right word. Presse. Presse. That is English. And she turned to a real life crisis manager, the expert in the area. And she represented a lot of high profile people and politicians and celebrities. But she did not <laughs> sleep with the president. I have to stress this because every time, every website that I went doing the research put that like in bold, italic, caps lock. Letter. So I she did it, okay? See, this is Judy Smith and this is Olivia Pope in the show Scandal. Hazel from The Fallen of Stars. She was inspired by Esther Earl, a girl who vlogged about having cancer on YouTube. She was suffering from advanced thyroid cancer. She met John Green in a Harry Potter convention and inspired him to make to create Hazel. Sadly, she passed away when she was 16 years old. I'm trying so hard not to cry. She was a very good friend of John Green. He turned it into a book, then turned it into a movie, which I haven't watched it yet because I like not crying. I read the book though, but I was empty inside at the time, so I didn't cry. So, see, this is Esther Earl. This is her when she met John Green or one of the time they were meeting each other. Her with John Green again, the cover of the book, The Fallen of Stars, and the poster of the book. Oh, tell the story without crying was such a hard go for me. Anyway, this was today's video. I don't know when I'm posting this, I don't know if I'm gonna post this, but I'll probably just post it because my hair looks great. You know, it looks like I bring her here to ask for likes, but it's just because while I'm making these videos, she looks at me like, My heart just melts and I have to carry her. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe if you feel like it. there are more videos here for you to watch. You can explore the channel and subscribe if you feel like, even if it's just for pity. Clever and me say goodbye. See you next time.